We've sent the Prime Minister visiting a Tasmanian salmon processing in, uh, facility, but outside have been those protesting the industry. Joining me live now, Deputy Nationals Leader Perrin Davey. Thanks for your time. It's been something in the headlines for the past few years around general sustainability, but now added to that is Tanya Plibersek putting the industry on notice on the West Coast because of this rare stingray that's in that habitat. Where do you sit on that? We've got on the one side an industry that's worth a lot of money and jobs, on the other side maybe a species that'll, um, you know, never again exist if it's not protected. Well, and you know, how come we're only learning about the stingray now? Uh, you know, it's it's quite um, amazing that we've only just heard about this. Let me say from the outset, I love my Tassie salmon just like I love my Tassie cheese. Uh, it is a massive industry, and I know the industry has done a lot over the last few years to try and improve their practices, to improve the sustainability of the industry so it can keep going. And one thing we've got to remember, if, if we're not farming these goods that there is a demand for, if we're not farming, uh, then we're either getting it from the wild and uh, that has all sorts of its own problems or we're importing it. And quite frankly, I think we've got to stop exporting our own problems and look at how we can continue to farm, to manufacture, to produce goods in Australia sustainably using best practices here because we know overseas it's not always best practice. So where does that leave the stingray then, this skate stingray? Is it, is, how do you sort of weigh up well, the competing interests, I guess, out. that you outline, outlined there? Let's find out more about the stingray. Let's find out about how we can try and find, as Anthony Albanese said at his press conference down there in Tasmania, where is the win-win? How can we keep this industry going while also looking after our environment? And there's more work that needs to be done. And I know and I'm sure the industry is very open minded to look at how they can continue to operate sustainably with minimal impact on the stingray. Let's get on to Woolworths. Uh, Peter Dutton, of course, the opposition leader, sparked plenty of conversation when he suggested Woolworths' decision to no longer sell Australia Day merchandise. He encouraged a boycott as a result. Is it a boycott you support? Are you engaging in a boycott of Woolworths? Well, I... Uh I don't have a Woolworths in my hometown of Daniloquin, so I don't have a problem. I can go to my supermarket and I can pick up my Australia Day thongs or, or my Australia flag stubby holder if I so choose to do it. And uh, that's what people should be thinking of. There is no harm. If you like to have a barbecue on Australia Day and you like a few gimmicky things there, there is no shame or harm in that. Go to a shop where you can access those goods. But let's call Woolworths out for what they are actually doing here. They have uh, said it is because of a decline in demand for those products. Well, if that was true, they would just not stock those products and they would keep quiet about it. They do it all the time. They stop, they see stocking product lines when demand falls. They don't put out big press releases and, and make it a big deal. What they've done here is made it a big deal. They've drawn attention to the fact because they want to undermine Australia Day. And that is un-Australian. Well, I can imagine on the flip side, if they'd just stopped doing it, people would have noticed and perhaps there'd be people saying, give us an explanation, Woolworth. So, you know, they've given their explanation. What, what is the boycott exactly, though? As I said before, is it something you support? And what's the call to do? Uh, boycott Woolworths until Australia Day, until they reverse the decision? What actually is it? Well, let me say from the outset, I am aware and I've seen the commentary about the hundreds of thousands of people that are employed by Woolworths right across the chain from those that man the checkouts to those that stock the shelves to those that drive the freight to and from the distribution centres. So I don't... Um, I want to make sure that those people know that I'm aware of them and their work. But I do think that if you want to support Australia Day, you can shop elsewhere. And, and I think that you should shop elsewhere if you want to support Australia Day, uh, if, if it's convenient. Let's also remember that here in the regions, some towns don't have an option. Woolworths is their only hmm. supermarket. And I'm not telling those people to jump in the car and drive for three hours to the next nearest supermarket. What I am saying, though, is um, for Australia Day, 
you can look elsewhere to get your Australia Day products. Um, and if you've got the choice and you want to celebrate Australia Day and you're proud to be Australian, as I am proud to okay. be Australian and so, I will be celebrating Australia Day, uh, you can shop elsewhere. And don't forget, your, your local politician like me, we have Australia handheld Australian flags that we can distribute. I've donated about 150 to my local council. So call right. on us as All well. Right. So if you're in Dillard, if you're in Dillard, that's fine. Get your Aussie Day flag from... Uh, Perrin Davy, that's fine. But I'm just trying to decipher what you're saying there. You're, you're conscious of the jobs, so you're not saying full-blown boycott. It's more a shop somewhere else on Australia Day if you want to. It doesn't quite sound like a boycott anymore. Shop, look, shop, shop somewhere else, go somewhere else to get your barbecue goods, to get your lamb chops, and, and I must commend um, Meat Livestock Australia again for their Australia Day lamb ad. Uh, very good job they've done this year. Go somewhere else if you can in the lead up to Australia Day to let Woolworths know that they are not representative of the majority of Australians. All right. Sounds like a, a pared back version of it, but appreciate the clarification, at least from your view. Perrin Davy, thank you.